it's to help accelerate the commercialization of plug-in vehicles. And it basically telling Washington uh, the promise of plug-in vehicles and, and how Washington can help accelerate their uh, introduction into the U.S. economy and globally. I'm Dan Riker, uh, Director of Climate Change and Energy Initiatives for Google.org. We have a fleet of uh, plug-in hybrid vehicles and we've been testing them and we put up the data at Rechargeit.org. Uh, we've made some grants to our R&D organization, but this summer we're going to make an uh, announcement of a series of investments that we're making in plug-in vehicle related companies. We've had over 400 companies submit proposals to us for investments and we've uh, narrowed that down to a small group and we're going to announce them later this summer and I think it's going to be money that we hope will again continue to accelerate the uh, commercialization of these kinds of vehicles. We're looking at technologies that can accelerate plug-ins like batteries, we're looking at service companies that can really make this consumer friendly. Uh, we're looking at whole uh, vehicles themselves. We've had a number of interesting proposals from companies that want to build ground-up vehicles, and uh, we've taken a serious look at those as well. So it's been a very rich and interesting group of proposals we've gotten, and it's been actually very educational and fun to, to go through them and make our final decisions. Generally, we're looking for companies uh, in terms of investments that can make uh, some very, very big changes in a, in a current technology, um, and where our capital which can take on fairly high risk situations can be put to work in a serious way and, and really move a technology into the marketplace more quickly than it might otherwise be. We're also obviously looking for companies that, that have a, a serious potential in terms of market share and uh, you know an interesting exit strategy at some point down the road. We're, we're willing to take a look at, at, at relatively early stage companies with high risk technologies, particularly if we think uh, they can make some big breakthroughs and they've got technologies that can scale. We're also looking at, at, at later stage um, ventures that can actually take a technology to a fully commercialized state. Often there is a stage after a pilot technology is developed and before it's fully commercialized where uh, large amounts of capital are needed. In the renewable energy space we call that the value of death and we're looking for those kinds of early commercialization projects as well. So we're, we're very interested in the intersection between uh, plug-in vehicles, people's homes, and the grid. Uh, it is in that intersection where we think information technology, for example, can be extremely important, um, where people can monitor charging of their, of their uh, car at home, where they can get a better understanding of how green their electrical supply is at any given moment, um, where electricity over time could flow in both directions, not only um, from the grid to the car, but from the car back to the grid. So all of these kinds of uh, intersections um, are very interesting to us and frankly play to Google strength in the information technology area. Well, there's some exciting new things that I can talk about. One is that we are in fact now uh, building a, a, a whole new uh, engineering group within the engineering division of Google to work on RE Less Than C technology challenges. So we've actually hired a group of engineers, they're getting settled, and we're very hopeful they can get at some, some of the bigger technological challenges with renewable energy. We're also looking hard at ways we can play here in Washington on policy in a more significant way. And, you know, stay tuned, but I think we're, we're hopeful that we could really make a difference, particularly with a new administration and a new Congress. The engineers are really focused on independent research for the most part. Um, and our, our, our investments um, are really, for the most part, separate from the work of those engineers. Um, so it's, it's, what's exciting to me about RE Less Than C is we, we really can play all the keys on the keyboard. We're pursuing R&D inside Google and funding it externally. Um, we're making investments in companies that have breakthrough technologies. We're, we're increasingly going to play seriously on the policy stage. And closest to home, we're figuring out ways to use our own information tools and talents to really accelerate uh, use of green electricity across the U.S. and, and across the globe.